are again. We've had a couple of weeks to test all the different players out and uh, have a good look at BD Live. What do you think of BD Live, Fiona? Well, at the moment, it's pretty unimpressive, actually. There's not much on there. Mm. It's very slow to load. Yes. Um, there was one stage, actually, where you told me you, there was a game with the men in black one. Yes. And, you know, you thought, oh, great, because yeah, you can play with people, you know, anywhere in the world. And there was one other person on there. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it not, was... it's not really a very happening thing at the moment. Being well, there, like, there's not a lot of players out there that support it. I mean, apart from, um, you know, seven, eight hundred dollar, you know, BD Live players or Blu-ray players, um, the only other thing that really supports it is PlayStation 3. Right. And um, also, um, Blu-ray discs are still a bit more expensive. And the amount of titles oh, look, that are has, out there... It has a great deal of potential. Two, but at the titles. moment, it's, you know... Yeah. Very few yeah. titles. So not, not a reason to go for Not a lot of people are, are, are um, investing a lot of time or even, even investigating Blu-ray, uh, BD Live, because there's so few titles with it. So I've actually inserted the DVD Walk Hard, which was one of the first Blu-ray BD Live DVDs to come out in the US. All right, let's start with PowerLink, yeah, sorry, CyberLink Power DVD. This is our first player. Now this player actually does officially support BD Live. This is an interesting feature, actually. So let's just maximize that so we see it. Um, would you like to resume the movie? And I would like to click on yes, but um, it won't let me do that with the mouse. It needs keyboard input to access that feature with this particular player. Well, actually, it's the disk menu that requires keyboard interface. So we're going to select resume from where we were. So that, that's one of the features um, which I noticed while I was playing around with um, with different Blu-ray players or different DV or different Blu-ray discs have different interfaces. Some support mouse input and some do not. They require keyboard input. Right. Now the menu on uh, on Blu-ray uh, is a little bit slower than than DVD due to the amount of data being loaded. I actually do need to use a keyboard interface. Mm. It is the only way to ac access this particular menu. This is not a limitation of the actual player, it's a limitation of particular Blu-ray discs. So we're going to go to special features. Now what we've got here, choose film version, or choose version of film I should say, commentary, BD Live, uh, commentary subtitles, previews, but we're going to go to BD Live. As we, as we can see, BD Live is blue there, so um, it means it's enabled. This is BD Live. We're connected to the US version of BD Live here. These things are, uh, that you can download. Now, okay, well, let's have a look. So we'll click on that. Um, so we can then get the option to download now. Um, okay, let's see. So HD is in high definition, and what's SD stand for? Standard uh, definition. Standard. So, <laughs> okay. All right. So, so we're gonna. What we're gonna do now is see roughly how long it takes to download a high definition movie trailer, which is exactly what this is. Okay. Um, I have a couple of others downloaded already, but we'll just have a look at the timing here. So we'll click on the download high definition trailer, and it will start to download. It takes way too long. It's not like clicking on the movie trailer and saying, hey, check out this trailer. I mean, it's like click on it and, and now you have to wait. Um, the wait is excessive. Okay, so the file is actually downloaded to our hard drive on the media center. I'll go into how we rip that file out of there for our own personal use later. But um, what we can actually do here is play the file, which we've just downloaded, the, the trailer. Um, I've gone to use the mouse again, the mouse is not there, so we'll play it. Now again, we have to wait. So it's decoded, now it's going to play. Watch a series of scenes from Starship Troopers 3 Marauder with you in the action. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Well, there you go. There's another BD Live feature which we didn't even know about right, okay. in, right until then. Very interactive. So we've gone back to the spotlight section over here. Um, and we've gone into previews. And now previews, so we've got uh, Starship Troopers, which we just saw a preview for. So just a, a whole heap of different movies here, uh, previews which you can have a look at. All right, and you can also browse by category there. 
That's right. Yep. So now they, they take as long to download. That's right. As so what we each can, yeah. one of these. So if we go to this one here, so it's not exactly a quick browsing experience. <laughs> we have to download it five, ten minutes, then decode it another couple of minutes. So you're looking at uh, you know ten to fifteen minutes to view any one of these particular previews. Right. But they all are all available to download. So that's BD Live. What one version of BD Live on. Um, uh, walk hard uh, using Cyberlink powered EBD. Okay, we've loaded up uh, Men in Black. Yes. A really quite a new release, Blu-ray title that does have BD Live as well. Mm -hmm. And again, we're it's using Cyberlink. It is not. It's, well, it's an old movie, but it's oh, newly yeah. released to Blu-ray. New release on Blu-ray. Yeah. So the menu here, um, we've got play movie languages, scene selection, and special features. If we go into special features. It, it's it's extremely laggy and slow. This is yeah. um, it's like you're hitting on it twice to see if it's actually working or not. So you can see how slowly it's moving down there. The music video, Men in Black. I don't think we need to see Will Smith singing that. No. Trailers. And Media Media Live. Live. As you can see, the blue there around the Media Live, it shows that it is actually available. So you can connect you connect to Media Live on this particular player. Right, yeah, it's grayed out if it's not available. We will show that in a minute one okay. on one of the other players. So let's exit this menu again, and we will start another player here. Um, from there, we can go to uh, Inner Video, WinDVD 8. Again, we have to use our keyboard to access the menu. Um, there doesn't seem to be anywhere near as much lag in the interface here. Uh, we go into Special Features. I'm able to... Oh yes, that is much faster, isn't it? I'm able to get through everything, but <gasps> no BD live. No BD live. But see the, the logo there is not not blue. Um, the, the little squiggly bit's not blue around BD live. So if I click on BD live, oops, yep. go to BD live, hit enter. Your Blu-ray player does not support this feature. So that, so that's basically the difference between a blue BD live supported player and a non BD live supported player. Right. Now, last but not least, as of our three players, is uh, Total Media Theatre by ArcSoft. Unfortunately, unlike the, um, the last player, WinDVD, they don't have the mouse control, so we are limited to using our keyboard again. This particular player also integrates itself into uh, Windows Media Center. So if I go to play a, a Blu-ray disc from Windows Media Center now, it comes up with this particular player. Okay, so um, looking around the menu here, we'll go back to special features. Um, Oh yeah, that's pretty quick, isn't it? Well. It's um, I would say this is probably the fastest interface. There's no lag, latency whatsoever. We'll go back down to um, Blu-ray Live or BD Live, which is down the bottom. Oh, it says it's not connected. Well, it's connected. BD Live. BD Live. Oh, it is shockingly slow. Now another thing, I mean the um, the decoding of the files for security reasons, obviously. <laughs> So you download the file, then you have to decode the file, which yes. takes about the same amount of time as it as took it to does. download it. Yeah. Or you can just jump on YouTube and download well, there's, it. There's so three ways to hear it, isn't it? Yeah. There's loading up BD Live, download the file, then decoding yeah. the file. So we are in BD Live again. Alright, so if we go into a Windows Media Center here, now if you want to use Windows Media Center exclusively for your interface as far as your recording digital TV and playing back or your other movies, etc. Um, the interface for the players is also important. As you can see here, ArcSoft Total Media and also WinDVD. It's only two that support Windows Media Center. So we'll have a look at ArcSoft. It's started very similar to the way in which it starts when you click on it on the desktop. Yes, but it has, but it has a new menu. That's right. It's got the, the Windows Media Center interface for playing movies, etc. So, what do you think we should keep on this? I'm, per I'm, I'm personally, I'm going to keep um, Arcsoft. Okay. Well, it, it's fast, it's got a BD Live support, it interfaces with Media Centre. I have a keyboard in the lounge room, so it's no drama, really. So, next week, we're going to talk about... Remote controls? Yep, with mouse, mice, keyboards. Anyway, we'll look at different interfaces for laying back on your lounge room, controlling your media centre.